Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys had a happy Thanksgiving. I can't believe it's already almost December. It's crazy. If you're new to my channel, my name is Haley. I do beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and health videos. And I am just so ready for Christmas. I'm wearing the most festive flannel ever. I actually just got this from American Eagle and it was on sale for $22 I think. Um, this is seriously like the softest flannel shirt I've ever owned. Like I've owned some other flannels from other brands and this literally feels like pajamas. Uh, today I am going to be talking about the holidays and how I stay healthy and fit during this time of year because people it can get a little crazy with the food let me just say I have seen it firsthand I have experienced it firsthand I remember when I was younger like I'd go to holiday parties and I would just like go to town on the junk food like those are the good times but honestly I would always feel like crap after holiday parties I would be like in a major food coma and just not feel good so today I'm going to be talking about how I keep it in control and just like some tips on how you can lose weight during the holidays you can maintain your weight during the holidays and you can eat healthy during the holidays but not feel deprived and I'm just going to give you some of my fitness tips and just I'm going to hit on a little bit of everything health wise during the holiday season so I kind of took some notes here so I wouldn't forget what I wanted to tell you guys because there's a lot of key things that I keep in mind during the holidays and that you guys should probably know they're just like my little secrets um, and some of these you guys might know already you might have heard before but I'm just gonna stop rambling now and get into it um, so the first tip of mine is probably gonna be an obvious one but it is do not be a couch potato you can still relax watch Netflix couch surf all you want but it is still important that you get some kind of movement in your day so I would recommend walking biking jogging playing some kind of sport with your friends literally any way you can get active and do it for at least an hour just get some kind of physical activity every single day yes every day for an hour and that's all you have to do you can do whatever you want the rest of the day an hour is really not that long out of your day to get exercise and then you have the whole entire rest of your day to do whatever you want tip number two is make healthy food choices Food is seriously everything when it comes to losing weight or maintaining weight. You cannot out-exercise a bad diet. Your body is 80% what you eat and 20% exercise. So what you eat counts. If you're going to a holiday party, make some healthy options and bring them with you. You can make a fruit platter, you can make a veggie platter, you can make both. You can make a healthy dessert. You can just make anything that you think you would like to eat and bring it to the party for the guests to eat as well. That way you're filling up on something that you enjoy eating and you're not going to be as tempted to eat other stuff because you're going to be so full from eating the healthy food that you brought. Another tip when it comes to holiday parties is do not go if you're starving. You need to eat before you go. If you are, have not eaten in hours and you feel starving and then you get to this holiday party, you're just gonna shovel in as much junk food as you can find because you're starving. So eat a healthy, either eat a healthy snack that's very filling before you go or eat a meal before you go. That way you will like not even be tempted to eat anything there at all because you've just eaten a whole meal and you'll be able to focus more on like socializing with people and talking and having fun. You won't even be thinking about food. Then another tip is to just do not overthink it. Like if you're going to a holiday party and you see some specific food there that you want, whether it's like an appetizer or a dessert or something like that, and you know it's not that healthy, but you're like, you can't stop thinking about it. You're like, I really want that. I really want that. And like your mind, you try to distract yourself and your mind keeps coming back to it. And you're like, I really want to, want to have that. Well, don't overthink it and don't drive yourself crazy saying like, no, I can't have it, I can't have it, I can't have it because the more you tell yourself that you can't have it, the more you're going to want it and then you're just going to give in and you're going to like eat a bunch of it and then you're going to feel like crap. So instead of doing that, don't overthink it and just give yourself a bite. Just take one or two bites and then throw the rest away and I think there's a bug inside of my ring light. 
what. You can take one or two bites and throw the rest away. That is not going to hurt your diet or your... I don't even like to think of myself as being on a diet. I mean, I'm not because I'm not trying to lose weight. I'm at my weight that I want to be at. But, like, if you're trying to lose weight, don't think of it as, like, you're on a diet. Think of it just like you're trying to make yourself healthier. You're changing your lifestyle, not, like, on a diet because diets are temporary and they never work. Just tell yourself, like, okay, I can have one or two bites and then I'll be done and I'll be good. So that way you can satisfy your craving and you can still taste the food, but you're not going to, like, gain weight from it or something, you know, because you're just taking one bite. But if you feel like you are the type of person that can't just have one bite without, like, eating the whole thing plus, like, five more pieces or whatever, like, then don't do that. Um, just don't take any bites at all. You're better off just not even tasting it. But... Um, if you can control yourself and you can take one or two bites, then just do that. You can have a couple bites and be done and it won't hurt you. Um, but yeah, that's just going to depend on who you are and if you're like the type of person that can handle that or not. Something else you don't want to do is keep saying, oh, I'll start tomorrow or I'll start on Monday. That is the worst thing you can do to yourself because if you do that, you'll never, you'll never get started. You need to start now. You need to start today. It's never too late to start eating healthy and start living a healthier lifestyle and start exercising. You can do it now. Do not wait because you're just going to keep pushing it off and pushing it off and pushing it off. The sooner you start, the sooner you'll feel better, the sooner you will lose weight or get healthy or whatever it is you're trying to accomplish. A huge tip of mine is to stay away from foods that are full of oil, butter, salt, refined sugar, refined flour. Any processed foods you also want to stay away from, but those are the big ones. Stay away from them. Any food that contains them, do not eat it. If you don't know what's in the food, don't eat it because chances are it's probably not healthy. Literally, anything you can eat at a holiday party is probably bad for you unless it's salad, a veggie tray, or fruit. Most of the time, unless you're at like some really health conscious person's house, it's not going to be healthy. Always bring something because then you know what's in it and you know you can have it and you can have as much as you want of it and you're not going to get, you're not going to like ruin your progress or anything. For me, I always, always, always prep ahead. For me on Thanksgiving, I made pretty much everything that was on my plate. So I knew it was in it, but I mean like my family makes everything so I know what's in the food. But if you want to go watch my Thanksgiving vlog, you can see what I ate. I'll probably be eating something similar on, um... Christmas but it'll be slightly different because for Thanksgiving I didn't prep that much because it was at our house and our kitchen was getting redone the whole week leading up to it so I really didn't have like I wasn't really able to get in the kitchen to start making stuff so um yeah I didn't really make that much but if you want to see what I ate you can go watch that video but yeah I highly recommend a whole food plant-based diet if you're trying to get healthy and change your life and just feel amazing and lose weight it's just the best thing you can do for your body. It completely cleared my skin. I have zero acne on my face. I used to have a ton. Um, I also lost weight eating this way. It's just the best thing ever. If you guys want me to do a video talking more about it, I can. Um, but basically, I just eat a lot of vegetables, fruit, salads, greens. I eat tons and tons of potatoes and sweet potatoes like you can ask anyone that knows me i eat a lot a lot of food but when you're on a plant-based diet you can eat a ton of food and not gain weight that is the best part about it if you like to eat a lot of food it's a great way to eat because all of the foods that are plant-based are completely like very low in calories so you can eat a ton of them and not gain weight and it's the best thing ever because I eat tons of fruit tons of vegetables and tons of potatoes and rice and stuff like that and it's it's the best I can't I don't know what else to say about it you need to get on a plant-based diet if you aren't already because I've seen such an improvement in my health and I'm not trying to like preach it you guys because I know some people do not believe in plant-based ways of eating like not eating any meat or dairy or stuff like that but I have been doing it for the last five years and I will never go back like people always ask me if I'll go back to eating meat or fish or anything like that they're like don't you miss it I'm like no I really don't I love eating tons of fresh living food not dead animals and I never really liked it I started asking my mom if I could be vegan when I was like 
in third grade and wouldn't let me because she just like didn't feel like having to cook a separate meal for me every night when I was younger but once I was old enough to cook for myself I went vegetarian first for three years and then I went vegan and it was just the best thing ever if you want to see my vegan story I will link it down below because I have done a video talking about how the process of how I went vegan and everything but yeah definitely look into it if you're considering it or even like interested in trying it just do it because not skeptical about it at all but I know there's some people that are and if you're one of those people just open your mind to it do your research on it and figure out what works for you because every single person that's vegan eats completely different it just depends on what you want to do some eat a lot of vegan junk food and not a lot of healthy vegan food I don't recommend that but anyways I hope these tips were helpful just stay on your own path and do not let other people discourage you from giving yourself the health that you deserve so thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll talk to you in my next video bye